Hello there. If you're new over here, then last week I was talking about the difference between a video from a DSLR to a video from a smartphone. I told you guys to pick up between these two shots, which one is from a DSLR. Now that you're here, which one do you think it is? Now that that's out of the way, today we're talking about signing online. You know when you get a document and they ask you to sign it and then you gotta download it, print it, scan it and then upload it? There's an easier 20 second tech hack to solve that problem. And I've used this method to sign for my passport documents and to sign for my contract in the place that I stay. So I know that this is legal. Let's look at last weekend's snow shot and get right to it. Can you believe it's February already? I mean, it was New Year a couple of days back and it's already February. <laughs> it's too cold outside, so that's why I decided to make this video indoors in this really well-lit room in my school. When I got into this room earlier this evening, there were a couple of people sitting in and working over here. When they saw me arrive with my camera and my gear and stuff, they said, uh, what are you doing? I told them I'm making a video and they said, do you want us to leave the room to you? And I was like, I want to say yes, but that's so mean. That would be really kind, guys. And they said, sure. And they just got up and left. They, th they said, good luck with your video. And they left. Some guys are just so kind, you know. They go out of their way just so that it's easier for you. I mean, not everyone's like that. But once in a way, you see those guys, <laughs> you know. Talking about going out of the way, have you guys ever received an email that you had to sign and send back and then... You look at that and say, oh my goodness, I have a tight day. I need to find a printer, print this out, sign it physically, find a scanner, scan it, put it on my computer. Every scanning software is like a bachelor's degree in itself. Understand that, master that, <laughs> put it on a computer and attach it, make sure it's not too big and send it across. And you're thinking, I need an assistant for this, <laughs> you know? When there's something like that to do, there's an extremely efficient way to do that. And that's the point of this video. There's an efficient way to sign online. Unfortunately, this only works with Gmail. So if you're not using Gmail, then you'll have to put it to your Google Drive and uh, then download it into your computer and then send it through uh, Outlook or whatever else you're using. But it's far more simpler than printing and scanning, you know. What you need to do is click on the attachment that came to preview it. And then under open with, click on Doc Hub. You may not already have Doc Hub because you've not used it before. Then just click connect more apps and uh, type in Doc Hub over here. You'll find Doc Hub. Uh, connect it to Chrome. Mine is already connected because I've used it before. Then under open with, you'll find Doc Hub. Once you've opened it up with Doc Hub, go to the place where the signature needs to be. Click sign and create signature. Here it'll ask you for your mobile number. Um, just punch in your mobile number and hit send and they send you a text. Now when you have this text message, just click on that link and open it with Chrome or whatever else you prefer to use. <laughs> They'll ask you to sign here with your finger. So uh, take a second to practice it on a piece of paper maybe and then go ahead with the kill. If you don't like the signature, you can just do it again. So that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and type Josh, hit next. That's not my real signature though. And hit finish. Signature is saved. In the computer, just reload the page, sign and the signature is right there, right? So you click this, you paste it over here and pull it to whatever size you want and the signature is ready. In order to send this over, hit download. You can send it directly via email, attach it, attach it in a new email and send it. But I like to reply to an email because there's, then there's a thread. So I download it on my computer and I save it on my computer. Just hit download, choose where you want to download it in documents maybe, then hit save. Now when you look at your contract, the one that they asked you to sign, there it is. It's printed in. No problem with the signature. It looks really high quality, you know, I mean, if you zoom in and look at the other letters, which are so bad, this guy is still in high resolution. And there he is, it's done, good to go. Find it on your computer and reply to the email and there you have it, done and dusted. What's really amazing about this is if you come back to this document or any other document later, if you sign into the same email as you did when you used the phone, 
uh, if you sign into the same same email address and you clicked on sign your signatures are always there you know that's what's really amazing i had a signature from way back when i was in mumbai and i was just using it all this while i deleted that so that i can uh, make a video about it lights back I deleted that so I can make a new video about it. This method is legal for most purposes unless someone's really finicky. I used it to sign the documents for my passport before I came to France. I used it also to find a place to rent when I had to sign the contract. I used the same method and it worked. So I don't think there should be a problem in the legal front. As long as you do it the way I showed you, I think it should be fine. If you paste an image onto a PDF, I think you can clearly see that it's an image and it looks ugly. You know, it gives it away. If you did it this way, it embeds it really well, you know, and that's the beautiful part about using an app like this. That's a really quick video, guys. I don't want to take more time and make a simple topic sound complex. So that's it for today. I hope that video was helpful to you. If someone needs this in their life, show them that they can do this awesome signing online. Take care of yourselves, guys. I'll see you next week. And until then, keep learning. If I just got rid of that light, look at how bad that thing is. With light, without light. With light, actually it's fine without, with, without the light as well, you know. There's a little bit of darkness, but that's okay. That's okay. It's a little... Yeah, that's, that's okay. I can actually live with that. I don't have anything else to say. Did you like the video? I'm glad you liked it. Take care, folks.